Hi, this is George from the Return of the King channel. Um, I got up early this morning at 4 o'clock to go out and see if I could watch the blood moon, and it was cloudy outside, so we couldn't see anything, so I had to kind of watch it on my phone as I was laying in bed. Um, knowing what's going on here, it's kind of hard to sleep. I kind of like to be, on high watch days, I kind of like to be alert and watching, because I just, I want to be aware of when it's going to happen. And one of the things I do is, okay, if it didn't occur in the blood moon, when is the next most likely time for the rapture to occur, um, especially in the next 24 hours? So the next most li likely time for the rapture to occur is going to be at sunset. Paul said, we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. The twinkling of an eye is that period of time um, of twilight in the evening. And so what happens here, as the moon begins to rise. You can see it rising here. It's in the constellation of the Lamb, Aries. We see Jupiter's coming up here. We'll make it look like daylight. And so the sun is over here and it's setting. And we'll just spin it. Okay. Takes a little time. And there we have the sun is beginning to set and the moon is beginning to rise here in the constellation of the Lamb. And you see the fish rising, you see the escape from the dragon who lives in the sea, the coming, the moon is moving from Aries into the constellation of Taurus. And as we continue on here, as the moon begins to rise, we're heading into that period of time called twilight. Um, the very, Jupiter's the brightest, um, other than Venus, is the next brightest um, planet or star out in the heavens. And so you're going to see Jupiter's rising, you see the moon rising, the moon's going to turn a brilliant white then as the night progresses um, when we ascend into heaven you know everyone in heaven has white robes white represents holiness and so it makes sense that um, the rapture to occur at twilight on a full moon as the moon is rising so the symbolism here is is very good for the the groom to come and and and, and rapture his bride away at sunset that's that's the traditional time um, in a Jewish wedding, the, the groom usually comes at sunset for the bride. And in the parable of the ten virgins, what happens there is they know he's supposed to come at sunset, but he gets delayed, and he gets delayed for three hours, and he comes at midnight. And so if we go ahead a couple hours, we see that the moon is rising and high into the sky. And at the same time, the dragon from Revelation chapter 12, who is thrown down at the time of the rapture, is coming down as we are heading up into the heavens. The symbolism here is, is extremely clear. And so the question is, is it going to happen today or is this, you know, almost like the Revelation 12 sign projecting a, a period in the future. And so if it doesn't happen today, like I've said many times, I expect it to happen between now and the tribulation, which starts on November 24th and 25th. And that's, that's what I believe it will start, you know, if it's going to be this year. And so everything looks really good. Everything on the world stage looks really good. Um, things are really coming apart, uh, falling apart very rapidly right now. So this is what I'm looking for and, and watching for over the next couple of hours. Um, I'm just at this point where I really don't lose hope. I mean, I know it's all coming. Um, I've been shown many things. Um, we're just here and the Lord is coming soon. And so it could go as late as, you know, if it's going to go today, it could go as late as basically sunset in Jerusalem. And what's interesting, as you see, as the moon heads towards the horizon, the move, moon moves from the constellation of Aries, the Lamb, into the constellation of Taurus, Christ the Judge. It takes the moon seven days to travel from the constellation of the Lamb to the constellation of Cancer, which represents heaven. And so, you know, this would be like another day if you're looking for another day. I know a lot of people are looking at, um, in a couple days from now, um, the flood date. And so that's a possibility too. Like, it could be any time over the next two and a half weeks. I mean, it's a super high watch period of time. And so we'll see what happens. Um, like I say, I'm still, the day isn't over yet, and so I'm still optimistic, and even if the day comes and goes, I'm extremely optimistic for the next two and a half weeks. I'm actually optimistic forever because this is all, every, the story in the heavens is all here. It's just a matter of interpretation. Have we interpreted this correctly? Um, there's, always, there's a lot of ways to interpret a lot of things. So um, hang in there. Um, the Lord is coming soon, and he's going to rescue us before the dragon can devour us. And we can see the dragon here is coming down to earth. Thanks for watching, and I will hopefully we'll be meeting in the air soon. Thanks again. God bless.